want the one with all the colors, boys? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Eating the good stuff. <laughs> Eating the good stuff. Seth, you missed about 60% of it. <laughs> Question of the day. We're starting it off early. All right, where are you planning to travel this summer? Maybe it's a vacation, maybe it's um, just like a camping trip, maybe it's a anniversary celebration. Do you have any travel plans? Comment below. I bet actually, especially if you're in the United States, you could share some ideas for other people. Uh, so comment below. We're going camping. We're going camping. I'm gonna bring you along, of course. Anyway, this magazine's got some good ideas. Time for more grass seed. I'm good. You guys are enjoying my landscaping. Um, Yes, yes, I'm going to Andy's by myself to get frozen custard. I am craving frozen custard. Oh man, I can't stop thinking about it after that long, nice, hard run. And uh, no, I am not getting any for the children because the children are in a little bit of a funky funk. You know what I mean by a funky funk? They just scream and yell all day long. But they, they're four and three, and they're boys. And so they, they're just not rational. You just have to tell yourself all the time, these human, beautiful souls are not rational at this stage in their life. And that's okay. That's okay. That was the, the design of the big man. But man, so no, they do not get any custard, but Papa does. Mm, mm, mm. Careful up there. All right, it's been a crazy weekend. Uh, as I explained on my way to Andy's, like, it's just been hard. It's been hard. Um, it's been hard for the children. Moments with the children have been difficult, haven't they been, Joseph? We just had a difficult weekend. Joseph admits it, he understands. But True Love just brought me a book with a poem, and I'm going to read it to you. It's called What a Baby Cost by Edgar Guest. How much do babies cost, said he, the other night upon my knee, and then I said they cost a lot, a lot of watching by a cot, a lot of sleepless hours in care, a lot of heartache and despair, a lot of fear and trying dread, and sometimes many tears are shed. No! See what I mean? In payment for our baby's small, 
but everyone is worth it all. For babies, people have to pay a heavy price from day to day. There is no way to get one cheap. Why, sometimes when they're fast asleep, you have to get up in the night and go and see that they're all right. But what they cost in constant care, constant, and worry does not have compare with what they bring of joy and bliss. You'd pay much more for just a kiss. Who buys a baby has to pay a portion of the bill each day. He has to give his time and thought unto the little one he's bought. He has to stand a lot of pain inside his heart and not complain. And pay with lonely days and sad for all the happy hours he's had. All this a baby costs and yet his smile is worth it all. You bet. By Edgar Guest and holy smokes. It's a beautiful reminder for all of us, especially if you're a parent, dive deeper into that well of virtue that you have. You know you got it in you. That virtue of patience and humility, admitting when you're wrong. Oh man, Bridget and I have had to admit a couple times today that we were wrong, and so are the children. This is life. Um, so, just wanted to read that for you. If you're struggling out there, if you're frustrated with your little ones, stay strong. We're all, we're all in the boat together as parents. And I wish I could tell you the name of this book, but um, one of the kids tore the cover off. So, anyway, that's life. Case in point.